Hey guys, how's it going? Back again, October 18th, the 18th video, and this is another movie that I haven't seen in ages, and I think I might have only watched it once, <laughs> but <clears throat> I'm going to talk about it a little bit. There's not really a lot I can say because it's been so long since I've watched it, but this movie is The Descent, and I guess it came out in like 2005, so it was around that time of The House of a Thousand Corpses and Cabin Fever, and I guess there's a lot of good horror movies out there that's... That was like, you know, around the time when I was 18, 19, really getting into movies like Fight Club and just exploring all these different horror movies. And uh, that was a good time for some uh, independent kind of horror movies. <clears throat> I don't know who directed this, but I think um, from watching the trailer that's playing behind me again, I think the cast is pretty much all female. It's a group of females that basically are spelunkers or they go, you know, searching in caves basically so it's just supposed to be a good old fun time they're just getting together to explore this cave or whatever so that's one of the cool things about this movie is that it takes place like all takes place inside of a cave so it's very dark very creepy if you're claustrophobic and stuff like that you know there's a lot of scenes with tight spaces they got to squeeze through and stuff or gaps that they got to get across so that's kind of scary in itself, just the scenery in the movie. Um, but uh, they find when they're in there, I don't remember if they kind of get trapped in there or what, how that happens, but uh, there ends up being monsters in the cave, basically. And I think, you know, they're like computer animated, but it's pretty good because they're it's dark. I don't think you really get to see a whole lot of them. I don't remember exactly what they look like, but... Um, they're pretty creepy from what I remember. And I think that they can only, they can only, uh, hear by sound or something like that. Like they can't see. So they can detect movement or something like that. I'm not sure how they work. But, you know, I think they come across bones of dead people or, or one of the people from their group ends up missing. There's also some scenes, or there's one scene in particular where somebody's trying to jump across the gap or something and they end up breaking their leg. And like, it's like a compound fracture, like where the bone shoots out of their leg. And it's pretty gruesome. So there's some gruesome injuries like that in here. Um, but yeah, it's a lot, it's dark and there's monsters. So it's uh, suspenseful in that. I think it might come down to one woman, if I remember correctly. And I'm going to tell you spoilers, because this is one of the major things that I remember about this movie, is the ending. And the ending is, uh, like, one of the biggest psych-outs, like, one of the biggest false endings that I remember in movies. And basically, it gets to the point to where the the main female that's left, uh, finds, they're basically like trapped in the cave or whatever, or they've lost their equipment, I don't remember, but, you know, and they're fighting with these monsters, which I think that there's multiple monsters in there, I don't remember how many, but some of the monsters might get killed, but anyways, at the end, she finds finally light, like, sticking through the cave, she's able to climb up there, and get her way out, basically. She escapes the cave, and, like, that's the ending of the movie. Uh, but it's not the ending of the movie. That's just, like, a, that's like her fantasy or whatever. It actually ends with her being stuck in the cave. So I don't think that she actually dies at the end. I don't... Uh, I think she, it just ends with her being stuck. And, like, uh, there is a sequel to this movie that I've never seen, but I do want to. I don't know if it's good. I don't know if she's still alive in the sequel. I don't know... If there's like another group that goes and finds her, or if it's just her continuing and finding a way out, or what, I don't know. But, uh, you know, even if I just watched it that one time, I don't remember if I ever, how many times I watched it, but I, it might have just been once, but it stuck with me. I mean, it's a movie that, you know, after seeing it, it's like I gotta have this in my collection. So, it's The Descent. You know, how many horror movies do you know that all take place in a cave like that? Like, it's it's directed really well and stuff from what I remember. Like, it looks really good. 
It says, on an annual extreme outdoor adventure, six women meet in a remote part of the Appalachians to explore a cave hidden deep in the woods. Far below the surface of the earth, disaster strikes when a rock fall blocks their exit, and there's no way out. The women push on, praying for another exit, but there is something else lurking under the earth. The friends are now prey, forced to unleash their most primal insti instincts in an all-out war against the uns an unspeakable horror, one that attacks without warning again and again and again. And it says, Spectacularly Scary by Dennis Dermati from Paper. <laughs> this paper is just the name of the place. It says on the, beginning, on the front, the descent opens with a bloody bang and never lets up by Leah Ro Rosen from People Magazine. It's a two disc edition. I haven't even really looked at this. I picked this up for like 50 cents or something. But it's got this too. The descent. Um, uncut version, basically, un unrated. Piles of skulls and stuff. I think that's what they crumb come across. And they're like, oh, something's been going on here. Um, the bonus features, pictures with her all bloody. I really need to watch it again. So I would suggest anybody who's into horror to watch this. You probably already know about it, you've probably already seen it, but it's kind of like a modern classic. So that's going to be it, I mean, it takes place in a cave, the monsters are cool and there are some disturbing, kind of gory, you know, nasty scenes in the movie, and the ending really makes this movie special. So. Check it out, guys. That's going to be it. God bless.